it's always one thing or another. One thing or another. fans this is what creates stardom this is what creates fucking stalkers this is what creates all that shit you have regular people and only reason why they feel that way is because they feel like they not a part of the cool crowd now this also has to do with school this has to do with like how we were trained as children it has a lot to do with the mentality of a somebody and a nobody so Ways you can get around these scenarios and ways you can fucking maneuver without being included into things and without having specific types of recognition and still give you drive. Rule number one, take up other courses, other fields. Right? So there's like right. So I go I go, there's a world that we live in, especially as urban people in the urban community. We live in this world where we base our entire existence off of what other people think about us. Our our day-to-day mission is based on what someone else is going to say about us and if it's good or bad and am I going to like it if it's good or bad. That's our our daily routine as urban people in the urban community, especially the black community. We wake up every day and worry about what someone else is going to say about us. And we worry about, we pretty much feed off of opinions. And that's how we maneuver, right? For example, if a black person is an artist or something, he doesn't get that much feedback. Nine times out of ten, he's going to feel like this ain't something he should be doing. If he ain't getting enough traction, he's not getting enough work, he's going to feel like this ain't something he should be doing, whatever. So we feed off of what people say about us as black people or as fucking especially entertainers right now. So, right, I started to look at rich people, like, and one thing about black people, especially black people, when we hear the word rich, we only think select things. We only think entertainers. Entertainers, everything that falls in the entertainer category is a rapper, a singer, a dancer, a sports player. All of those things in sports goes baseball, football, basketball, you know, water polo, tennis, you know, track and field, all that shit, right? Those are the only things we believe that can make you rich. And all of those things feed off of people opinions. Nobody, LeBron James would not be as big as he is if nobody talked about him. If there was a code that said, don't say LeBron James' name, he would not be as big as he is. And if he wasn't as big as he is, he wouldn't make the money that he makes. So in the black community, our 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 richness comes from opinions. How we maneuver and how we grow, it comes from opinions. We get paid based on other people's opinion. Right? When you think about rich, you think about wealth, you think about that, there are so many rich ass non black people that you don't even know who the fuck they are or what they do. All you have to do is drive down Pacific Coast Highway and you'll see literally, you can drive from here to Oakland and you'll see literally zillions of millionaires, zillions. You'll see millions of millionaires. I live in Orange County, Laguna. There's millions of millionaires out here. They don't feed off of opinions and what do they do? All right, so these are the thing, right? As black people, there's things that we can do other than entertainment, like tech. You can get into tech, right? Small tech, little robotic designs. You can get into like, like all type of forms of tech. Like tech is expensive, right? You can get into computer animated. You can get into 3D design. You can get into like all type of shit. These are things that I'm into. I'm very fluent in Maya 3D, Cinema 4D, Pose 3D, Fume FX, uh, After Effects, all type of shit. I'm very fluent in all of this shit. But these are things that other people could take up, right? Tech, right? You can take up these other things 
and you can become just as rich or if not even more richer than an actual athlete or an actual rapper or an act without you can actually become extremely rich without someone knowing who you are and that's actually better that's way better sometimes i wish that i wasn't an entertainer and i wish that i put like i'm already fucked I'm, I'm like stuck daylight like unless i unless i just get plastic surgery and become a super 3d animator and i'm actually thinking about that like i think in like in the next two or three years like i'm gonna get my face tattoo removed i'm gonna probably dye my skin like a lighter shade like a little bit lighter i'm gonna shave all my facial hair maybe get my nose done a little bit just a tad bit like not no michael jackson shit but just a tad bit my nigga and i'm gonna be like a whole nother nigga I've been thinking about that. But anywho, that's a different story. But, right, sometimes I'd be like, damn, I fucked up. Like, I waste all these years of my life trying to be famous. The fuck? What if I put this much time and effort into fucking being a computer animator? What if I put as much time as I put into fucking rapping and much time as I put into all of this shit into being like a fucking 3D designer? Right? Like, you got to think, there's niggas out here working on Transformers. There's niggas out here working on all type of shit, nigga. Avengers. Like, I looked at the fucking animation team for Avengers, and I'm like, these niggas rich. You don't know. Nigga, you watch the credits for Avengers. Nigga, that should be like cinema animator. Nigga, Jason Zegg. Nigga, you don't know who the fuck no Jason Zegg is, bitch. Nigga sitting on 100 mil in the bank account. All he did was nigga make Captain America shield green. He just put some sparks. That's all he did. He just added some sparks on Captain America shield. They didn't get nigga hundred million. This what I'm saying. Like, what if like, <coughs> what if you got a team of homeboys instead of you know how niggas be like, it's the squad, it's the gang, nigga. We about to turn up. What if you ain't have a team of gang, gang, gang niggas? You had a team of the homies who's like, hey, bro, you want to be like, you want to edit this fucking film today? Like, yo, let's all sit down and fucking work on this film today. Like, all 10 of us, all day. Like, yo, you know who I fuck with, bro? You know who I really fuck with? And I really like they squad, and that shit is so amazing to me. You know the one black nigga that be like anime be like, or LeBron James them be like? And it's like a team of them niggas. Right? It's like the black nigga. They be doing hella funny shit. Y'all know the niggas I'm talking about? I don't know his name. But it's a black nigga and they got like a team of black niggas and they be doing hella funny shit. Like like basketball players fresh out of jail be like... You know the niggas I'm talking about? Like, I really... I don't... I love looking at them not because of... Not because of... Not because of... Of... What they're doing? Well, I can see it. The unity aspect of it. Right? It's not even about what they're doing. It's like the actual unity aspect of like a bunch of dudes getting together, putting their minds together to fucking make something like that's kind of crazy. I enjoy that, but that still feeds off people's opinion. They world still feeds off people's opinion. But still, I like seeing the shit, right? It's dope to see niggas come together for something creative like that. Shit is extremely creative. But even going deeper than that, right? Like, there are some people that I watched. I literally watched become extremely famous, bro. I watched them from the from the beginning to the end, which is fucking Andrew Kramer and Video Copilot. If you're a film editor, nigga, you know about Video Copilot. I literally watched these niggas become goats. Like, I'm talking about I watched their first tutorials. Like, when I first got into film, I watched their first tutorials of them just doing shit online figuring out shit doing tutorials and shit with after effects and now these niggas working on fucking transformers and shit like you know all right so you know the shit when thanos you know the shit when thanos walk through the little smoke shit like you know when he do his little teleport shit and he walk through the smoke and come out to your world i seen that effect literally almost like i would say it had to be about nine years ago I seen the effect, nigga. You could get on video copilot right now, and nigga, it's a crystal ball effect or it's a smoke, a smoke, it's called like smoke portal effect. You could get on fucking video copilot right now. That shit nine years old. 
I'm 99.9% sure they did that shit for Avengers. These are a couple of niggas that was on YouTube making tutorials. Now these niggas fucking sitting on billions from Avengers, bro. Look. You can get on their website right now. Video copilot right now. Go to tutorials. Scroll down. You're going to see motherfucking smoke. Smoke portal effect, my nigga. Bro. What I'm saying is this, right? Like, this goes to all the up-and-coming black people. Especially the up-and-coming niggas that follow me. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Fuck this rap shit. I'm going to be flat out honest with y'all. This goes to all the up-and-coming niggas that's just now getting into this rap shit. Fuck this shit, bro. It is an easier way. Don't waste 15, 20 years trying to get on. My nigga, it's an easier way than this shit, bro. I'm, I'm keeping it all the way real. Why try to fight crabs in the bucket, my nigga, when you could be a creator of your own world, bro? Fuck a rap. Fuck buying the studio time. Fuck all that. Buy a computer, my nigga. When you get your computer, buy Adobe After Effects, my nigga. Fuck that. Like, I'm going to give you a stimulus package or idea or some shit to do. Nigga, you get some bread, buy a computer, nigga, buy Adobe After Effects, my nigga, and get on videocopilot.com, no, dot net, videocopilot.net, go to tutorials and watch all of niggas' tutorials, nigga, and you got an eye My nigga, learn that shit, learn how to edit, nigga, get online and type in Cinema 4D, buy Cinema 4D, buy Poser, Poser 3D modeling, nigga, buy motherfucking Maya. Maya 3D, buy Fume FX, buy these programs. You get fluent in these programs, my nigga, you gonna make millions ASAP, bro. I'm keeping, you get fluent in any of these programs, you gonna make dummy money. Look, my nigga, I'm gonna tell y'all a valuable thing. It's a million rap niggas in this world. It's a billion niggas trying to be rappers. It ain't a billion niggas filming videos, bro. You become the, look, you become the video nigga, you a, bro, I'm the video nigga. I was the video nigga for a long time. Before my career took off, I was the video nigga. Being a videographer in today's day is like being a drug dealer. Bitch, rappers are crackheads. My nigga, niggas used to knock at my window three in the morning. Daylight, what's the deal, fool? Nigga trying to get a video. Nigga, three in the morning. The fuck you mean you trying to get a video? You know, a nigga just need that fly video, my G. Bro, I started to feel like I was the kingpin drug dealer. Niggas was, bro. I remember one nigga was hitting me for about three weeks. Man, daylight, man, G. Nigga, I need a video. Nigga, I'll suck you. Man, hey, man, what? What? Bro. You see all these rap niggas trying to rap? All you got to do is become the producer. Not actual, like, beat maker. Become the producer. If you was a one-stop shop for rapper, you had made videos, you did photo shoots, nigga, you sold fake Gucci belts. My nigga, you be the nigga. You sell the prop money, fake Gucci belts. You see, nigga, you shoot the video. Man, all the shit, man, you, man, niggas gonna cash out. Because that's all rappers do. They spend hella money trying to make themselves look lit. So you got to get on the other side to make them spend. Instead of trying to be one of them, get on the other side and just rape the niggas. Bro, look, I'm telling y'all, my nigga. This goes to all the up-and-coming artists. It is another way to get on. You don't have to be no fucking rapper. There's many ways to get the bag, bro. If you did, niggas be writing all type of lyrics on the bus, writing lyrics and shit, man, you don't throw that bunk ass notepad away. Boy, you better go buy you a laptop and learn this editing. I'm just keeping it real with a nigga. You learn these things, you are, right, let me tell you, you learn these five things. If you learn these five things, you gonna be rich as a bitch in six years. If you learn Cinema 4D, Maya 3D, Fume FX, Adobe After Effects, and Adobe Photoshop. If you learn those five things, 
within five to six years, you're going to be up 200000 Guaranteed. You learn those five things, within five years, you'll be up 200000 Guaranteed. Working for yourself. Guaranteed. You get into 3D modeling, you get into all this shit, you'll be up dummy money. Guaranteed, bro. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a 100% guarantee. I'm telling y'all, bro, like, it is a, it's a back door to success. And every, it's a back door to success that all the fucking geek niggas take. But then all the quote unquote cool niggas is all trying to run through the same door. Everybody trying to run through the same door. Nigga, I'ma be on, I'ma be lit, nigga. I'ma I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have the best single in the world. You got, you got, think about this. There's a top 100 billboard, and there's over 70 billion rap niggas trying to fight for top 100. What the fuck? Hey bro, learn these other things, my nigga. Let me tell you, right? When you learn these other things, when you learn those five things I told you, you actually can skip the line and rap. If you learn those five things I just told you, you can skip the rap line. I know what y'all thinking. What you talking about? You can skip the rap line. My nigga, you could do shit that other rappers can't do. You can fucking have yourself flying past the Eiffel Tower like Superman if you want to. You can do whatever the fuck you want. You got to think, we live in an online world. So if you learn all of these editing programs, you're literally God. We live in an online environment where you can literally create anything. It's The Sims. If you learn all of these 3D editing programs, my nigga, you could 3D edit any celebrity in your video and it will look 100% authentic. If you learn these 3D editing programs, you could edit any person you want in your music video and it will be real. And there's nothing that nobody can say that is not. literally become God, bro. You become online God when you learn editing. You become invincible, bro. Like, I got so much shit that I was like, you know what? I ain't even gonna put this shit out because this shit have really had niggas fucked up. Like, right now, you seeing shit pop up called deep fake, right? You familiar with the deep fake shit, right? Like, I, I know y'all seen that shit where they edit Mike Tyson them heads on all the girls and shit. Or they, that shit where they did the Family Matters. No, they did the What You Talking About Willis and they edit Kevin Hart face on there. Are you seeing all... You, they doing the deep fake shit right now where you can edit anybody's face on anybody. Right? I know y'all familiar with that shit. And you can't tell me it don't look real. You can't tell me it don't look real, my nigga. Deep fake shit kind of crazy, crazy, my nigga. So imagine if you know how to do deep fake shit. You could literally do a song with any nigga you ever wanted to if you really master deep fake. If you learn to deep fake shit, you could do a song with anybody you ever wanted to do a song with. Right now, I got videos with every rapper you ever named of. I just, I'm just waiting to put them out. What a nigga gonna say? That ain't me? Nigga, you can't say that ain't me, nigga. That's clearly you. Nigga, I got songs with Ho, nigga, Nas, all they in the video rapping. We shaking hands and all that. Nigga throwing money and all that. And you can't say it ain't you. You can't. There's nothing you can do to say it's not you. It's you, bitch. You might as well just go in there and promote the video. Because nigga ain't going to say it ain't you. Just promote it. Fuck it. You dumber for saying it ain't you. That's what calls more publicity. But 
dog. Like, for real. Like, is this sad, man? But no, like, look, some G shit. Niggas gotta learn more than just rapping. I be looking at artists that be saying, oh, I'm talented. I be like, nigga, you a fucking idiot. The fuck you mean you talented? Where? Because you know how to scribble, scrabble words together? You feel you talented? Bro, you an idiot. You're not talented. You don't know how to do shit. Bitch, you don't even know how to press record. The fuck you mean you talented? Because you wrote some scribble, scrabble on a piece of paper. You ain't talented, nigga. You just wrote some shit. That don't mean you talented. You don't know how to do shit other than use a fucking pen. Niggas be walking in the studio, yo, check out my artist. He dummy talented. I be like, and he know how to do what again? Yeah, he a writer. And that's it. Nigga, that ain't talent. The fuck? Nigga, you want to impress me, nigga, you better show me a demo reel. I be, you know what's talent? When somebody walk up to me and say, yeah, he's a matte painter, I be like, okay, this nigga's, okay, let me see what he working with. When somebody even use the word matte paint, y'all don't need, see, y'all so less, y'all so not in the talented thing, some of y'all don't even know what matte painting mean. Y'all think it's like a matte color, like a color. Nigga, you know what matte painting is? You, once you learn matte painting, you become God. Get online and type in hatch, as in like egg hatch, hatch FX matte painting. Demo reel. Get on YouTube and type that in. H-A-T-C-H hatch FX matte painting demo reel. That shit gonna blow your goddamn mind all the way. Out, out, bro. That shit gonna have your mind all the way gone, bro. All the way. Oh, I gotta get over. I'm out of here. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, like my nigga is different, bro. Shit. Man, what's up with these bum-ass niggas turning? It's different, bro. Like, the, the way that I see talent, the way that I perceive talent, it's shit out here that blow my mind, and I be like, oh, I got to learn that. Like, musical shit, that I don't give a fuck about. N nothing impressed me. My name, I'm, bro, none of this shit impressed me, bro. Nigga had a, the craziest song in the world. I'd be like, I don't. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. You just scribble some words on a piece of paper. That's not impressive. Nigga showed me a demo reel of a street that had hella people on it. And... And it was daytime, and in his demo reel, all the people gone, it's snowing, nigga, it's extra buildings adding on and all type of shit, nigga, dwarfs walking. How the fuck you do that? That's, that's the shit that blow my mind. How the fuck you remove all the cars from the street? On top of that, it's snow, bitch, it was daytime. How the fuck is snowing at nighttime? That's the type of shit that be having my mind like, yo. These niggas is talent. Graphic designers. Graphic, but even bigger than that, what about the niggas who design this shit for you to design? That's the level I'll be going to. I'll be like, yo, who the fuck made Photoshop? What type of money you got? See, we be thinking, you be thinking the first layer. The first layer is become an a artist and a photoshopper, you know, all that shit. The second layer is how the fuck you make a program to make people do things.
That's the second thing that nigga be having to think about. Who the fuck made the program to make you do stuff? Oh, no. That's another way of thinking when you start thinking about that type of thing. Blah, 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 blah. That's a different. When I start thinking about that type of thing, my mind all about the legal and this type of voice. Oh. Oh. I swear my, my brain started doing a thing. It's like, oh, what is this type of thing? Who the hell is? Man, what's this? This is different. This is different. What's this? And then my hood thing kicked back in. Man, Gio, you had never learned that. Man, what's wrong with you? You weird. But you thought you was about to learn how to edit. You thought you was about to learn how to make an editing program, man. Get your weird ass out of here thinking like that. You crazy. My hood thing kick in, bring me back to reality. All right, daylight. I let you. I let you think about the first shit. You feel me? The first thing you was thinking about editing and all that. That's cool. That's possible. But now you thinking about creating the editing program? Oh man, you don't get your weird ass up out of you weird. Fuck wrong with you? I oughta rob you for thinking all stupid like that. Hey, who the fuck made Photoshop? That's all I wanna know. Who the fuck made the... Who made Cinema 4D? How you make a program for you to make things? Oh! My brain. How you make a program for you to make more things to make things? How you make a program to make things for your thing to make a thing. That's all I want to know. How you even design that? Like, think about this. All right, so I think about it like this. Photoshop, it give you a blank canvas thing to design stuff, right? But how did you even design the layout for Photoshop when there wasn't no Photoshop? Oh, my brain. Ah! How did you even design any type of layout for Photoshop when it wasn't no Photoshop? Ah! Ah! These niggas had to have a portal. They must have went back in the future. Oh my God. They had to go in the future and design something and then take it back in the future to make it brand. All right, I give up. I'm not about to think about this right now. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. See, you see, y'all niggas be getting depressed over other shit. Girlfriends leaving y'all, you know, drug addictions and shit. This the type of shit had me dummy depressed. I think I'll be super depressed thinking about all this shit. I'll be like, all right, I'm about to use Cinema 4D to make me some people to go inside my film. And then I, my brain started going, hey, 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 G, who you, who you think made this program? You feel me? And then from there, my other brain clicked back in like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. They doing too much. Out of here. How you even make a program to make a thing? That's all I'm saying, man. How you make a program? To make a thing. What type of what type of what type of infinity stones y'all got? They got they got it. Oh, I already you ain't gotta tell me twice. I already know who made these programs. Thanos. Clearly. 
Clearly, Thanos made him. Clearly, he. You, you, only way you could make a program like Adobe After Effects, you gotta have some form of Affinity Stone. You got to. But ain't no regular human nigga can make that. You crazy. Ain't no regular person could just make. Man, y'all, you, do y'all understand what's happening? Man, y'all not understanding what's happening, what I'm trying to tell y'all. Ain't no regular person going to be able to make no goddamn or Adobe After Effects. Man, they had to get Jarvis or one of them. Tony Starks or one of them niggas had to make that because they had... All right, I'm not buying it, G. I'm sorry. Y'all can buy that shit all you want. Y'all can buy that shit all you want. I ain't buying it, G. I ain't buying it. Ain't no regular nigga in the regular world just making Photoshop and all that. Hell no, man. You niggas got to have some ultra power to make that. You got to have some. You got to have some. You gotta have some dummy. You man, you gotta have some. Hey. hey. Yo, do you have a lighter? No. Hey. Yeah. Who are you? Uh, Hutch. Yeah. Justice. Yeah. 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 Hey, we lit. What? 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 Well. Hey, Daniel. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, 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 I was so excited to go back and I've been there already. Right, right. Okay, we're looking at joint. The waffle hot right here. My bad, y'all. I wasn't supposed to do that, but it is what it is.
I'm on some other shit. Anywho, I try to make it back. Got work to do.